What up, guys? Hello. Do we all have to do jazz hands here? Jazz hands. I love it. Twinkle fingers. Welcome to Holly Scoops <laughs> Just Saying. I'm Heather Gardner. I'm Stephanie Gray. And today we have a very special guest, Miss Corinne. Yeah. Corinne Hennenberry, so nice to be here. I love the kisses. We Mwah. love you guys. Mwah. However, I think we maybe love or don't love the new Grammys promo that's out. We have some opinions about it. <laughs> I want to let you guys see a little clip first. Let's watch. And you don't let those people sidetrack you. Someday, when you get where you're going. Okay, it's kind of sweet. Obviously, it's taken from Taylor Swift's Grammy speech last year. It's women empowerment, little girls, kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're not on board, but I feel like you are. I am a bit. I mean, women empowerment's a big deal. It is. I think that, Absolutely. especially for little girls who are inspired by her, or who love her. Mm -hmm. They love her, they love her. It is sending a really positive, great message, right? right? However, where it However, came from, on the other hand, <laughs> pass the baton. It's girl. almost like the negativity, in some way, is still existing at the foundation. There Tell me is actual uh, negativity at the root of this whole thing, but I don't like it just for the sheer reason that I am so <laughs> sick and tired of T Swift ruling the world with her little crown. Okay? Tell us how she, you feel, Stephanie. This is how you feel. She is a mean girl. And it's just like Katy Perry said, she's the Regina George of Hollywood and she's mm -hmm. clicky and you're either her best friend or her enemy. Mm -hmm. I think it's weird yeah. and I'm tired. She's too much drama. Drama. Here's the thing about that though. We'll get into why this is a negative thing with the Kanye thing in a second, but I don't think that even if she is the Regina George, even if she is that, dare I say, bitch in Hollywood, does it discredit her popularity or her success or her no. album sales and or her Grammy it. Awards? It doesn't, doesn't affect discredit. it, but it makes she's me not like her. Agreed. Okay, it makes okay. Me think she's like that disgruntled <laughs> nerd in high school, which I love nerds, but she's like taking it to the other extreme now and she has to be like Miss Popular. And it's just like, dude, mm -hmm. just be comfortable with who you are and not care. But if she you know? takes that popular factor, right? Yeah. And she really like has this, this positive, women can do anything mood that she sets. It doesn't, I, mean, I think you're asking, does it justify her being the Regina George? <laughs> I mean, does it? I was gonna say bitch she's again, a but. She's <laughs> bitch, that's all she is. Okay, now going back to Kanye here for a second, and I, once again, I love the fact that it's little girls and empowerment and you can do whatever you want. And I think in this world right now, all little girls need to hear that. The reason that I'm surprised and was almost appalled by this promo was because Taylor's speech stemmed from a lie she told. She got up yes. there at the Grammys. This was in the middle of the whole Kanye West situation where he released that song Famous, took credit for her fame. She said not a word until she got on that stage, delivered that speech. And we all were like, yeah, girl. Yeah. And then a month later, Kim Kardashian <laughs> revealed, oh, snap, girl. Snap. Actually, Taylor Swift lied. I just, it's tainted for me. Yes. I And not, again, we're not gonna take away her success. We're not gonna take away her shame. I'm just surprised that the Recording Academy would Praise that. Basically, yes. basically, she wanted to play the victim card yep. because Taylor's always right and Taylor's always victim and she's Listen scorned by guys and her friends <laughs> do her wrong, cry me a river. And she pretended like she had no idea he was gonna slam her like that. And then yes, the phone call came out and, and we she did. clearly heard what he was she, gonna say and said it was fine. She didn't even admit it? that there was any conversation. Forget specific lyrics. Right. Like mm -hmm. any convo. But well, so obviously like, for, I'm kind of in the middle, like literally, literally, literally. and figuratively here. Yeah. I'm kind of in the middle. You are 100% against it, but you, you still are kind of all for it. I do. I feel that the the end result, if it's positive, is always great. Okay. Right? But I often, I'm I'm a little mixed inside because I know that it just foregoes this this story that we need to just look past. Like, let's just get over it. Can Would we? you, if you were in Hollywood and you were rich and famous and like you know part of the elite, would you want to be friends with Taylor Swift or not? I would not. Really? Yes, bitch, really? Yes. Um, hello, I need some Insta followers, so I would definitely <laughs> okay. well, that, that's Well, you know what? It needs to be true, it needs to be humble, it needs to be honest. I'm not sure if that's full on what it is, but I think that the young girl seeing it will get the positive message from it. Yes. You know, I agree. I think the young girls portrayed in that promo 
maybe they're not Kanye fans. They're Taylor fans. They're not fans. Every I mean, no matter what. Exactly. No matter what. So, all right. All all right. Girl power. We're, we are divided a little bit on this one, but we want to hear from you. Let us know, first of all, if you liked the promo. Second of all, if you're marred by it, like we are, <laughs> about the Kanye situation. And like I said, I need some Instagram followers. So please, give me a follow. Shameless plug. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Okay, Hi. guys. Thank you guys so much. And Corinne, you. thank you for thank joining you so us. Thank you for having me. I love you guys. You guys, and you comment too. below and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.